We continue back today looking at Pat Lemsconi's model of the five dysfunctions of the team and the fourth level on his pyramid, and that is accountability. My name is Tim Schneider, and I am the founding partner of Aegis Learning. Welcome to Leading Edge, the weekly newsletter that has been focused for the last few weeks on high-performing teams and teamwork. Now, accountability in a team environment is much more an art form than a piece of science. It's going to require some really solid judgment on the role of team members and leaders. And the best I can do today in this particular piece is provide you some ideas and some, some, some suggestions that we've certainly seen work in the past and that in our experience have had some tremendous value and tremendous benefit. Now, before we talk about the accountability piece, which kind of has a almost a negative uh, connotation, let's talk about the positive side. So when a team succeeds, does everybody share in that success? Yeah, of course they do. I mean, you don't have to go any farther than, you know, a World Series champion. You know, the starting nine, they, uh, when they win the World Series, do they get spectacular World Series rings? Absolutely they do. But you know who else does? Guy number 25. Guy number 25 that didn't even, you know, tie his shoes tight, and the most he did was take a little bit of batting practice and play catch. Never got into a game. You never appeared in a box score. Uh, maybe was on television when the, you know, the camera kind of panned the bench, and when, it was the, when that was happening, he was eating sunflower seeds. You know, you can make the case he was not a big contributor, but guess what? He got a ring. He shares in that success. Now, likewise, when a team struggles, should everybody share in that accountability piece? And the answer is, if we're going to share rewards, we also have to share the accountability of struggles and challenges and when times are not good. Now, many of you are going to, you know, kind of immediately pop up and raise the uh, question, well, you know what, what if I'm one of those incredibly high-performing, high-potential, high-talent, <coughs> pardon me, uh, uh, individuals that does my best, I'm an A-plus player, why are you going to drag me down because of the performance of others? And you know what? It's not about dragging down. It's about understanding the performance of an individual is not nearly as important as the performance of the collective, of the performance of the group. Yeah, you might be a superstar salesman. You might have just great customer reviews, but if the organization is struggling, none of that really matters. And when we do accountability right, accountability will then attach to commitment, another level on Lensconi's scale. Because that high-performing team, one, that, that high-performing team member, that, that high-talent, you know, super successful A player team member, one of the things that we want to do is we want to make him or her have a vested interest in the overall performance of the team. And to do that, we have to tie some of their success to group success and not just individually. Now, the best, uh, what I can describe is the best models that I've seen. And this is in its most, you know, simplistic format, but the best versions I've ever seen. And in your organizations, you have the, you know, the opportunity to tinker with this and play with this and make it work right for you. But here's some of the base that I've seen work incredibly well. So when it comes to performance management, i.e. giving people raises, bonuses, even promotions, half of that should be based on individual performance and the other half should be based on group performance. Now, again, I know, I, I know full well that, you know, some of you are thinking, wow, that's going to drag down my stuff. It might temporarily, but if that means you also now have a new interest in that person that's a moderate performer or a low performer and helping them and even assisting in coaching them and bringing up the overall performance of the team dynamic, that's huge. And that's where team accountability trumps, in many cases, individual accountability. It doesn't whitewash the accountability that individuals have for not meeting uh, standards or, or not performing in a team environment but it adds another dynamic and another layer to it that now my success is tied to these other individuals. So now it's not just about me. This also has some subordinating self-interest in it. Not just about me, but it's about us. So even though I might be performing really, really well, I got to make sure that everybody else is performing well. I've got to share some of my knowledge, share some of my skills, 
coach them a little bit, help them a little bit, encourage them, praise them, provide maybe even corrective feedback when they're struggling and not doing well. That's what real team accountability looks like. Now, please note that one, that particular piece, is not one that is not going to happen without incredible levels of trust. It's going to require that we handle conflict. And, and yes, I'm covering Lens Company's models again. It's going to require we handle conflict very, very well. It's going to require that we've moved through Tuckman's stages and taken care to manage all of those. It's going to require that we have a committed team that is mission-focused and mission-driven. And to get to that true accountability takes time. It's not going to be something that you as a leader or even when if the team decides to do it together is going to happen overnight. It takes time to get to that point, but it's certainly a journey worth taking when we can share that accountability across the board. That's going to really drive us into that final piece of Lensconi's model, which is results. Now, before we get there, we're going to add some additional pieces from Aegis Learning that we found to be incredibly successful along the way as well. I hope you have a terrific week, and I look forward to next time when we're together with Leading Edge.